Hey man, you can know you watch. Dance Alright, All right, viewers and subscribers, dance us, kill a day again once more. Big up and respect to each and everyone. Yeah, I hope that everyone is okay and alright, my people. So, I have some things I want to talk to you about and I have at least one video that I'm going to present to you. Now, first things first. I got information that a man died after he fell from a bus that was traveling on a highway that is located within the country that is known as Jamaica. Alright? Now, I read more than one news articles about this whole situation, viewers and subscribers, and one of those news articles said that the man died after he fell from a bus that was traveling on Highway 2000 and that the bus was heading towards Olaba in St. Catherine, Jamaica on the 14th of March, the year 2022. And... Another news article that I read gave me the understanding that that news article said that the man died after he fell from a bus that was traveling on PJ Patson Highway on the 14th of March, the year 2022. See? Now, according to at least one of those news articles that I read, viewers and subscribers, I got the understanding that uh, that news article said that uh, after the man fell from the bus, rear wheel of the bus that the man was traveling in, ran over the man and that another motor vehicle that was traveling behind the bus that he was traveling in also ran over the same man according to more things that i read in the same news article i got the understanding that it is reported that the man was dancing and swinging on the door of the bus when the mishap happened or it is said that he was hanging dangerously from the bus when the mishap happened. See? Either way, me look at the whole situation. It's really sad, viewers and subscribers. You see me? I say, yeah, it's really sad. You see me? Um, you know, I'm not even going to say much. You know what I mean? But, um, mm, it's dangerous. You see me? I say, anyways, I'm just I'm making know about that, viewers and subscribers. I'm going to move on to another topic. Now, I am going to present a video to you that I've recorded within the country that is known as Jamaica. I don't have any confirmed information as to when the video will be recorded. In the video, a man said some things that gave me the understanding that he said some things that can be considered to be a threat towards a person. And based on some things that I saw and heard in the video, I got the understanding that the man said some things that can be considered to be a threat towards a person in the presence of at least one police officer from within the country of Jamaica. Viewers and subscribers, let me know what I think about this video. In this video, you can hear at least one harsh language. So viewer discretion is advised. Here's the video. Take a look, listen, observe. Tell me what you think. Hey, me can't go to jail. can't get no bail. I'm not a broke ass nigga, you know. Jason, I'm not a broke ass nigga. I have money all over the fucking country. What are you telling me about? If you have links all over the world, and you come back one lead, I'm going to murder him. Jason. Jason. If you touch this man, I got jail. I will come up here and I will take my back and I will beat you to the south. You hear me tell you? You hear me tell you, Jason? I mean, I'll tell you again. I will kill go, go, go Bellevue and get an injection. I will kill him mad again. Mm. Well, my people, I heard a warning in that video. Did you hear a warning in that video? I mean, know me hear a warning in that video. Is that what I say? Mm. Anyways, my people, one of the reasons why I presented that video to you is because the video has been talked about on social media. And I think I've seen that video before, you know. I wonder when that video somehow started to circulate on social media because I think I said that video before but anyways my people you know let me know what I think about that video and I'm going to move on to another topic now I got information that a man from the country that is known as Jamaica had been extradited to the country that is known as United States of America to face charges relating to defrauding several American citizens of their money According to news reports that I saw and the news articles that I read, I got the understanding that the man who had been extradited from Jamaica to United States of America goes by the name of Romario Murray. And I also got information that the man had been accused of being involved in a lottery scam syndicate 
that defrauded multiple victims of approximately 300,000 US dollars. Now, a part of one of those news articles that I read that had been published on the 14th of March, the year 2022, gave me the understanding that the news article said that on Monday, the United States of America Embassy made a tweet disclosing that the Jamaican was wanted by the U.S. Postal Inspection Service on a federal warrant regarding mail and wire fraud. Now, according to the same news article and another news article that I saw and news reports as well, I got the understanding that uh, it is not immediately clear when the Jamaican was extradited from Jamaica to United States of America. See? But viewers and subscribers, me just a little know about this information or about this whole situation, all right? All right, so I'm going to move on to another topic. Now, I read more than one news articles that gave me the understanding that a female who goes by the last name of Edwards died in a fiery three-vehicle collision that happened near a place that is known as a Pear Tree Bottom Runaway that's within the parish of St. Anne, that's within the country of Jamaica on the 13th of March, the year 2022. See, according to more than one news articles that I read, I got the understanding that those news articles said that the female is in her 30s and that police said that the three vehicles that was involved in the whole incident are said to be a tractor trailer, a under CRV that was being driven by Edwards and a panel truck. See, according to more than one news articles that I read, I got the understanding that those news articles said that the tractor trailer and the under CRV that was being driven by Edwards were both traveling in the same direction towards Discovery Bay. See, and that the panel truck was traveling in the opposite direction. See, according to at least one of those news articles that I read, I got the understanding that it is reported that the panel truck somehow got into the path of the tractor trailer hitting its wheel and that the driver of the panel truck then lost control of the motor vehicle and crashed into the Honda CRV that was being driven by Edwards. It is said that the Honda CRV was traveling behind the tractor trailer or the trailer and that two of those motor vehicles then burst into flames. See? Now, there are more details about the situation, viewers and subscribers. I also saw videos and pictures about the whole situation. And on a real, those pictures and the videos are harsh in my point of view, as I may say. But me just making you know about the whole situation. You can tell me what I think, viewers and subscribers, you know. Um, you just have to be as careful as possible, you know what I mean? You just have to be careful on the road, you know. It's really rough. It's really tough, but I'm just I'm going to walk away. I have some legal effort number people, you know. Alright, so big up and respect to each and everyone. And until next time, my name is Dancer Skiller. I'll see you next time.